The British government is moving forward with a proposed ban on selling energy drinks to children. Today, the government started consulting the public about how this should be carried out. And let's go to Thomas Daigle, who is now moving to a place where they sell all of these energy drinks. And there he is there, framed up, ready to tell us what's happening and what the government is considering. Good morning, Thomas. Good morning, Heather. Uh, so given that there are so many questions about the health impacts of these energy drinks, uh, the government here is planning to ban the sale of these energy drinks. Anything uh, with more than 150 milligrams of caffeine, we're talking Red Bull, Monster, that sort of thing. For anyone under 18, and this is interesting here because all, there's already sort of an informal ban in this country uh, in supermarket chains for selling these uh, energy drinks, such as Red Bull, to people who are under 16. But this would go further. It would be a formal ban and apply to anyone under 18. Some people are saying this is extreme, given that you can join the army, you can drive on the roads here in England, but perhaps if this goes through as the government plans, not buy energy drinks legally in a store, Heather. So I know you'll be peaking, speaking to people there who are buying those drinks to get uh, their reaction to this, but what's the position yeah. from the industry yeah. on this? Well, the British uh, Soft Drinks Association has made it clear they have repeated, and as this is on their website, that energy drinks should be treated the same way as any other source of caffeine, such as tea or coffee or chocolate. And what uh, nutritionists, some of them are in this country, are saying is that although energy drinks are often associated with health problems, especially for young people. There is no evidence directly tying one to the other. So there's definitely going to be a pushback from the industry as this consultation on this uh, wide ban. The consultation is getting underway now, Heather. Thank you very much. Thomas Dagg right there outside one of the uh, convenience stores that sell these uh, contentious products. And thanks very much for that, Thomas, this morning.